welcome back to Condi TV. I'm Tori and today we are making wine tote bags. These would be perfect for promos, party packaging, or even as a holiday gift. They're made out of neoprene and they're sublimatable on both sides, which is what we're gonna be doing today. Today I brought with me some protective paper, Condi Pro Spray, a sticky lint roller, and my images and heat glove. My first step is gonna be to use my sticky lint roller on my wine tote. And the reason I do this is to get off any impurities or contaminants. Next, we're going to do a quick pre-press. I'm going to put down some paper to protect my substrate, followed by my wine tote and put it there in the middle. And we're just going to do a quick pre-press. The reason I do this is to make sure all the moisture is out of our substrate and it gives me a very nice smooth surface to put my image on. Once our pre-press is finished, we're going to take it right back over here to our working area. Then we're going to take one of our images, which I've already cut out, and we're going to spray it with some Pro Spray. I usually do this over a trash can so that my furniture doesn't get any Pro Spray on it. Next, we're going to take our wine tote, line it up with our image. Uh oh. And you want to leave some room around all of the edges just in case there's any bleed. So you make sure it's nice and lined up like this. And then I always like to put a piece of protective paper in between the handles and that's so that none of the ink gets on the handle that I haven't sublimated yet. So now we're ready to go back to the press but before we do that I'm going to line it up one more time because I don't think I got it well enough and that's very important. So there we go. Now it's nice and straight. It's a little tricky with this neoprene but we got it. Extra piece of protective paper sandwiched in between the handles and we're back at the press putting down a sheet of protective paper followed by our image face down, covering it with a second or in this case third piece of protective paper because we have that one sandwiched between the handles. Then we press and for all of the latest instructions make sure you visit condi.com. That sound means we're done and since we are working with heat I'm going to go ahead and put my protective gloves on to keep myself from getting burned. And let's see how this first side turned out. So it looks really good. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna set it here to cool and then we'll align the second image with our wine tote. So now that our first side has had some time to cool, we're ready to go to the second side. And as you can see, because that divider was in between our handles, None of the ink from the first side got onto the second side. So this is the part I was, I was telling you about. We're gonna do that again, sandwiching that divider in between, and then using our Condi Pro Spray to spray on our image. Then we're gonna line up our wine tote with the second side, making sure that there's an even amount of bleed on all of your sides. And now we're ready to go back to the press. So now we're going to put down one more sheet of protective paper, followed by our wine tote. Top it with a second piece of protective paper, and then we press. And for all of the latest instructions, make sure you visit condi.com. So now that our second side has had time to cool, we can see that our wine tote turned out great and we're ready to put it to use with a bottle of wine. Now, because of that extra little divider, there was no bleed from the ink on our handles and they look clean and complete. Now, if you call your Condi account agent today and tell them Tori sent you, you'll receive a free wine tote. When you purchase five, you'll get the sixth one free. For more tips, products, and services, make sure you check out Condi.com and for more of my videos, be sure to watch ConditV.com. I'm Tori and thanks for watching.